few years ago, I was on holiday on the west coast of Ireland. And one night, late at night, I just couldn't sleep. For some reason, I kept tossing and turning. And then I began to think of a poem. And this poem is a bit of nonsense. It's not to be taken seriously. It's called The Undertakers. Digger Dan was a self-made man who planted the newly dead. Large and small, he buried them all until he met a man named Fred. Digger's trainee was Slug McFeen, six feet and sharp as a pin, eager to know, to embalm just so, and coax a corpse to grin. Time went by, but no one would die. They clung like limpets to life. So he practised on rats and an occasional cat till he was a whiz with a needle and a knife. Then one day he heard Digger say, Slug, your time has come. There's a man down the road been hit by a load of fish and he doesn't have hum. In the hearse they piled and careered the long mile to where the body lay supine. Digger dunted the door, slug heard the snore, and red sent a chill up his spine. It's the last of his breath leaving his chest, so get in there and do what you must. Okay, okay, I'm on my way, and slug gave the door a sharp thrust. And there was Fred, on a big iron bed, a poignant picture of peace. Across his chest lay his hands at rest, their toil at last had ceased. Let us begin, said Dan with a grin, not fitting for a man wearing black. We've no good all day, so what do you say? Let's get it done before dark. But Fred's arm rose, and young slug froze, at this silent command to desist. Now there's a twist, it must be a first, for dead men don't often resist. The arm fell, slug gave a wee yell, and taped it quick to Fred's side. Then he leapt three feet, turned white as a sheet, when the other arm began to glide. The gliding hand caught Slug by the throat, and Fred screamed out, Vamos! Dan gave a roar as he shot through the door, Run, Slug! We've got the wrong hoose.